Hey guys, it's Sega Camp. Yeah, some of you guys might not have known that this is going to come up eventually. So I'm blocking the view, I'm just... Yeah, Animal Crossing. Ah, oh. What can I say about Animal Crossing? Oh. Turned on. Yeah. But yeah, what can I say about Animal Crossing? Uh, what a game! I used to love playing this game a lot when I still ha when I still own the Nintendo GameCube. I. One of the very best games I used to enjoy playing for hours. Uh, man, you can just tell you haven't been playing this game for such a long time. Look at all these weeds. It's like that. That's the only problem you have with the GameCube. That's the only problem with the with both with both the GameCube and Wii version. There's weeds everywhere. You don't go on back on for such a long time. You start getting weeds everywhere. But what I really hate about the Wii version, what they had to totally fuck up, was if you actually keep running over your grass, it it dies away, and then afterwards, and then afterwards you leave all you'll leave a lot of dirt patches left behind, like. Like basically, um, uh, if you want to regrow your grass again, you'll have to plant it with flowers and just start making a pathway. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I haven't been playing this game for such a long time now. But you know what? Basically, though, on a minor note, this is what got me into playing the Wii version. Once I heard that, once I heard that the Wii version of Animal Crossing was coming out, I was like, "Thank you. They're making they're making more Animal Crossing games." Ooh, some presents. Oh, uh, I must have been sending fossils. I need to read that again. Hang on. On a paddle skull. Okay. Oh wait, I forgot. You can actually do this. This is something you can never do in the Wii Animal Crossing. It's just you could actually just throw away all throw away all your lairs at once. Oh, my house just got bigger. Yeah, this is what's, yeah, cockroaches. Come back here, you little bastard. Come here. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the only complaint that I have of was playing the was playing the GameCube one after a long period of time. When you finally get cockroaches. And they never do seem to start disappearing and and they never seem to stop. It's just they'll keep coming back endlessly until you keep moving your furniture around. 
I think I got them all now because Yeah, I know. I'm doing some maintenance to my house. Right now, when I'm actually supposed to be just showing... Okay. This is another good thing that I liked about the GameCube Animal Crossing. Watch this. You wanna play Clue Clue Land? I'll play. Yeah. Yeah, you get NES classics on this version. Which kind of pissed me off about the GameCube Animal Crossing, just because the GameCube, I mean the Wii Animal Crossing game got rid of that stuff. I was kind of pissed. Like Nintendo, why? Why did you have to get rid of the NES classics? I can understand they had that Wii Virtual Console thing, but honestly, come on! Someone can just... Ah, oh, you fuck! And there we go. Level cleared. Yeah, it's a heart. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you all this, though. I used to really like this game back when I still had it. Balloon fight, yeah. This I'm kind of glad as well that they bring this into the ambassador program. You can even get this if you have the ambassador program on the 3DS. But that'll mean you... Apparently though, that'll mean you have to get the 3DS before the price drop though. But yeah, you can get this on the 3DS. But like I said, you have to be part of the ambassador program to get this game. Oh, I die. Yeah, you can actually, yeah. You can actually move your character across. You can go about opposite ends of the screen. Make sure you get the bubbles. Bubbles are worth some bonus points. I know, that's kind of weird. You just kill these things, and then a bubble comes down. And if you don't clear a level, um, uh, and if you, and if you end up taking a very long time, you'll end up getting those little lightning things coming out of the screen. Ah, oh, there goes my, there goes my second life. Bonus round, yay! No, no! There we go. Yeah! Per Super bonus of 10,000 points. Doesn't really matter. My high score is like 90... Is like... 97,450. Against my 38,750. Ah, I was jagging off. Okay, well, okay, just to go skip right to the, this next theme I like. <laughs> yeah. One of the best game over themes ever. And the, then, of course, there's the two-player mode, which is just basically the same, but with two players. And then Balloon Trip.
Sorry about that, I did not know I ran out of time. Yeah, and the bubble will still and the bubble will still reappear in this section, but it just makes time freeze for like a fraction of a second. Whoa, whoa! Make sure not to go near the water. That fish will still will just come up and eat you as well. Ah, oh, you see that? I can never reach the top score, even though it's 25,000. That is insanely hard. Nah. But like I said, this this was um, uh, this was some of the reason why what I I used to really like this version so much that once I finally heard that they were making Animal Crossing City Folk or Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City, this is what got me into getting the Wii version as well. Although, still to this day though, I still, I would still prefer this version over the Wii version. Wii version was okay, but it's just not superior to the much, to the much more version, to this version. I'm kind of looking forward to the 3DS version. Well, I am well aware that there was even a DS version as well, but I did not really get the DS version. It was kind of interesting because even before the DS version came out, they actually had a countdown to the DS release on the on a on the Animal Crossing website on the internet. You can even find some music on. You can even go there and find some music to to certain songs and that you can put on as your town theme. All right, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna go waste my time pulling out more weeds. I'm sure that's not what you guys want to see. You also want to learn to love all the extra sweets, I assure you. Now, there's plenty of room for furniture. Now then, I always hate this part, but we need to set up this matter to the cost of Ramona. 398,000. Holy Christ. Oh yeah, the train. I gotta show you the train. Oh, it must be out at the station now. Yeah, what's pretty interesting though about the GameCube version is you can is you can still go to the is, is you can still go to other towns just like in the Wii version. Although the only problem is is it's some uh, is the only way that you can go to another friend's town is you're gonna need another memory card. And then the thing that sucks is is if you finally once you finally go to a friend's town and then finally return, you find out you'll actually get a letter from one of your friends saying I just went to this town blah blah blah. Delivery from Murphy from Monique. Hang on. Murphy. Yeah, I find this really neat. Ugh, and the, the thing is too dark to see. Oh, well. But the only thing that's really weird about the GameCube version is the whole map is split down to separate acres. It's not like... Like, I go down a screen, and now I'm in sector B2, and then I go, then I go to another section, and then I'm in another section. The tank. It's like so long since we've seen each other, but you still look as gloomy as last time. Don't tell me you've been sick in bed this whole time. That's not true, is it, Rion? I said it before and I'll say it again, don't be the thing is looked at him uh looked it kinda down.
Oh, I gotta go down. Okay. No, no, no! Ah, crap. Yeah, golden tree. It is possible to actually get a golden tree. I think you need to bury a shovel and then afterwards... Or no, 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 that's not right. Here's a secret. Somewhere, every day though you go around town, you'll always find like a shiny spot. And every time you try to dig in that section, it'll be like a golden... Here's how you get, here's how you make sure that a person asleep and my dad will stay awake. First off, morning moocher. Yeah, so do you need me for? Let me think. I guess I don't need I don't need you to do it, but for some reason I'm craving an apple. But this thing is, I can't I can't for the life of of me find any in this town and I don't want to impose or anything but I'll tell you this I'll surely do want to eat one moocher my belly's singing me much music and it's pretty hard to get fruit in this game as well I will tell you that much getting fruit in this game is intensely hard it's not like you can just go to other towns and like in the Wii version. You can get coconuts though off off the beaches and then plant them. Oh, all right. I can go inside this person's house. Wait, it's Pippi. Yeah, every time you talk to a person, you can ask them if they want you to do a job. Yeah, it kind of sucks. It once they made the Wii version, they got rid of that shiny spot. Red Rock is still in the game. Yeah, you want to know about the Red Rock now? Well, I'll show you how it's done. Oh, whoops. Yeah, sleeping neighbors sleeping around. Yeah, like, why are they sleeping outside their houses when they should be inside sleeping? That's a little awkward. Okay, where's that red rock? Where is it? It should be around here somewhere. Hang on. Okay. That red rock has got to be somewhere around here. Yeah, the red rock still returns, but it doesn't turn red anymore than when you hit it. It's somewhere around here. I know it is. Same for that shiny spot where you can get 1,000 bells, but for some really weird reason, it's just not showing itself. Oh, nothing there except a pill bug. Ah, I got a fly on my foot. I can just feel something crawling up it. Okay, Red Rock, where are you? Honestly, you think it would be not difficult to find it, but it's like you gotta go. You have to remember where every rock is in this town. 
fossil. There's another way. I'm in Nova. Uh, I'm in Nova way on how to on how to quickly get bells in the GameCube version. I made a video about that as well. I'll leave a little annotation somewhere as well. Apparently though, you're gonna need to. Apparently though, you're gonna need to get the Game Boy. You're gonna need to have the Game Boy with the cable to do it. Let's just say though you can also you also get this little animal island thing. Oh, there it is. Ah, no, no. Ah. Oh, if I kept hitting it more, you would actually hear the one up sound effects with with as well uh, one thousand bells popping out. I guess I'll even show you the, the the museum very quick. Yeah. Awaiting a kind donation. Yeah, like my town is called Hyrule, and I just see it's the Legend of Zelda theme. Might as well donate these and see if they're. See, if, I say a Patera skull. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, he's taking these. I'm pretty sure if they were they weren't donated, he'll just he'll just return them to me. Be like, oh well, this is, item is already donated. Oh yeah, yeah. You see? Now he's all being like, oh, I'm sorry, we already have this donated. Here, take it back. We don't want your so-called thing. That's actually a good thing because selling these fossils in the Wii version is worth a lot of bells. But since I, I you know, but since I'm playing the GameCube version, I don't know how much. Oh, I don't know if it'll be this, like the same price as the Wii version or not. Hmm. But yeah, if so many people played this game like me, and then see, if so many people played the game like me, then you might, then some people might know what I'm talking about. I really can't come up with much of what to say right now for this video game log. Just, I just thought it would be fun just to bring it back because I just am used to enjoy this game. I used to enjoy playing this game a lot back when the GameCube was still was still a best-selling system. Oh yeah, five thousand. That's that's not bad. And you can get the golden, uh, get the golden objects, but I'm pretty sure the golden bugs and the, and the axe can only be earned just by donating, uh, well, golden bug for... Sorry about that, my game pile just decided to go collapse over on me while I'm recording. So sorry about that. Let's just say, it's just, 
all my games with the with the 3DS camera on top. I'm very sorry about that. Like I said, the golden bugs net can actually be earned just by uh, cl by donating all the golden bugs. Golden shovel could be you find the shiny spot and then bury an extra shovel right there. Although for some really weird reason, I still have a normal one. I wouldn't be surprised if I. Nope. I guess not. And of course, there's the lost and found. The Wii version was just you had to go, you had to go to the gate just to go to the gate and then talk to Booker just to see if there was anything in Lost and Found. There's always something different every day when you go on, and as well, the game actually plays in real time. Even the Wii version is like that. It Wii version shares that my concept as well, playing in real time. Uh, though I'm not really right now, though, because uh, because the clock is actually set for 7:31 in the morning, and instead it's actually quarter after eight right now, uh, almost 8:20. I just had it set for seven because I really do love this scene that they play at seven o'clock in the morning. I even love I even love the 5 p.m. theme and the 9 p.m. theme, or at least back then when I played it. I kind of have a love for the 2 p.m. theme now. All of a sudden, the two I'll be honest, the 2 p.m. theme sounds just like a shopping frenzy kind of theme. 1 p.m. sounds okay as well. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. I like to call the cat stop because you hear all these little meowing sounds in the song. Yeah, don't be surprised. I'm really thinking of doing, uh, I really want to do some of the classic Animal Crossing themes as acapella. Even, uh, even the 10 p.m., even as well to give, uh, to give the Wii version an okay score as well. The 10 p.m. theme sounds pretty similar to the 9 p.m. theme on this version. The Wii version, I mean. You know, Animal Crossing City Folk, in case some of you guys don't know what I'm talking about. And although I'm... I think that's about it for now. I can't really find that shiny bell, so... For now, I'll wrap things up. This is how you save you... Yeah, you get a gyroid. <laughs> The Wii version is just you have to go back to your bed or or as well that you just point the Wii remote at the screen and then pick the save option. But here it's just you have to go to your house, talk to your gyroid, and tell it that you want to save. And then you get one of your town residents saying, to him, Oh, you already doing for the day? What do you want to do? Save and quit. Yeah, the Wii version, instead of having one of your town's residents, you end up getting Rover instead right here on the screen. Wii version is still the same, but instead you'll end, you'll end up only getting Rover. Rover's the guy that you first meet when you go on the train. Let's just say, when you start over a new file on Animal Crossing, you'll actually meet Rover like right away, and then he'll tell you what your character is, give you a name, and then after that, and then afterwards... After that, you finally you see yourself get off the train and all that other stuff. But yeah, I thought it would be fun just to do this because I'm kind of excited for the 3DS version. I hope the 3DS version is good. And if some of you guys remember this, feel free to please sub, comment, whatever you whatever returns your crank. Maybe like it as well if you want. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.